I grew up Catholic and I have an idea for the church. They are not listening to me. Confession by email. <laughs> you could just open up your laptop Sunday morning, right? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> See attached photos. <laughs> I got a massage a couple weeks ago. The website for the place said, all pronouns welcome, no judgment, which I thought was very nice. So I didn't mind telling them that any erection I may get identifies as accidental. <laughs> <laughs> and its preferred adjectives are big, huge. <laughs> Uh, that's my thing, I swim, because when you get older, you know, I get hurt doing everything else. <laughs> Swimming's pretty safe. Like, you've never heard of a career-ending swimming injury. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. You're like, some guy's limping, you're like, dude, what is it? Oh, God, you know, it's an old swimming mishap. <laughs> and we're not, like, weightlifters, like, all aggressive, screaming and yelling. I can't stand that stuff in the gym. It's like, chill. You don't see somebody doing laughs like, Come on, one more! Just quietly back and forth. If they're screaming in the pool, there's a problem. I'm gonna get somebody. I have to go to a certain time every day. I plan it out because at some point during the day, the pool gets taken over by the lovely ladies of the aqua aerobics <laughs> class. And I love these women. I think you gotta be at least 75 or so to even enroll in it, which is great. I think it's good. They're doing something for their health. But I have one issue. Everybody has to shower before they get in the pool. It's posted right there. Everyone must shower. They never do. They just walk right by. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> right? You've earned it. You can blow off a sign once in a while. Problem is, I have to go in after, and nobody wears more skincare than women of this age group. Not to stereotype. Look, teenage boys, close second. We'll but there's a lot going on there, and there's like 30 or 40 women, they're all in the shallow end, the music's going, and they're just getting into it, you know? And all I see is just a bunch of old ladies just steeping like tea bags in the pool. <laughs> the stuff is just coming off of them, you can see it. It's like a goddamn swamp in there when they're done. I'm swimming in there, I can't even see where I'm going. It's like, oh, oil of Olay slick. <laughs> Gotta get scrubbed down with Dawn liquid when I get out. I know I'm gonna get a Werther's original in the eye one of these days, just because they like to, like to hide them here and there. And my daughter's at this age, we used to spell words in front of her that we didn't want her to register, but she's too old for that now. So what we do now, we write them in cursive. <laughs> Talk about a mystery, right? He's like, what's that? Don't worry about it, honey. It's hieroglyphics. <laughs> I've been married 23 years. October 23rd will be 24 years. And uh, a, I appreciate it, but let, let's not get crazy. It's a long time. But honestly, at this point, uh, my marriage has never been better. I wish it was. <laughs> It's just never been better. <laughs> like, what are we waiting for at this point? No, uh, I've had my own room for about eight years. <laughs> I won't lie, that's amazing. We all want our own room, don't we? Come on, let's be honest. That's why I think twins are born several minutes apart. Because right? when the first one comes out, the second one's still in there like... <laughs> oh my God, this is fantastic! <laughs> gonna hang out here for a little while, what the hell, oh, let me go. <laughs> but it's cool having your own room, man. But I don't know how to decorate or anything, so it's sort of like my version of my room, it's pretty juvenile. Like, we had workers over once, and they're like, sir, I have a question, I think it's in your son's room. <laughs> I'm like, no, that would be my room. <laughs> the one with the Farrah Fawcett poster? Yeah. <laughs> That is my name, if you didn't catch it. My name's Andy Pitts, P-I-T-Z. It's just a pretty horrible name. 
Uh, when you're a kid, now I don't really care who cares, but like, it's crazy because it's evolved. Like my first name now causes me more stress than my last name ever did because of cell phones. Like, I guess a lot of my friends have their contacts sorted alphabetically by first name. So I'm at the top and I get phone calls all the time, not on purpose. Like if someone puts their phone in their pocket or they sit on it, which happens every second of every day, they call me. Right? So this is what it's like when I answer the phone. I'll give you a glimpse into my life. When I pick up the phone, nine times out of ten, it's like this. I'm like, hey, man, how you doing? I hear this. There's nothing I can do. You know? It's so helpless. Like, oh! I'm in your pocket! Help! There's two rollays left on this phone. <laughs> I'm so glad that guy came to this show. <laughs> gold, man, pure gold. And that's if I answer the call. It's even worse if I, if I miss it because I get voicemails from people who have no idea they doubt me. Right? They just, uh, one time I got literally a 20 minute recording, a 20 minute long voicemail, and it was um, a couple of my friends having brunch. The saddest thing is, I listened to the entire <laughs> 20 minutes. Yes, miss. Your granddaughter is getting married. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, miss. You have a granddaughter that's getting married. Is she here tonight? Yes. Okay, for those of you who cannot see this lovely young lady, she is sitting there going. Did you give her one of your edibles before the show? Okay, okay, what was the present? Do you, want it to, do you want me to toss it to him? I think the answer is a resounding yes. Sure, why not? I have no idea what's going to happen right now. Okay. What the fuck do we have here? Oh, it's a pair of... It's, it's homemade edible underwear. This is artisanal. Bespoke. Bespoke. Dude, I'm gonna call you out, and I know you're a little older, but there is a Werther's original right here. I'm gonna give this back to you now because I'm not sure if they were worn or not. I don't know, I'm gonna try to, you know, lump myself in with you guys. I grew up in Buffalo, New York, not too far away, okay? I say pop. I know what it's like to freeze your ass off nine months out of the year. If people do this to us, I'm so aggravated. If, if they know you're some, if, if people know you're from somewhere like here or Buffalo where it's freezing and it's really cold outside, I'm sure you've heard this before. They're like, hey man, it's pretty cold out there, but you're used to it. Like, yeah, it's, it's sub-zero out there, but Andy's used to it, he's used to it. It's like, do we gotta tell these people, you know, we had a house. <laughs> what is your vision of my childhood? That, it's like, I would play outside all the time in the snow, but my parents let me back in pretty much whenever I asked, you know? Like, maybe not every time. <laughs> but it wasn't just like lock the door until, you know, April. Now they need to adapt. These pussies, grow some fur, you little shit. One thing I don't use, though, I refuse to use heated seats in a car. It's like, come on, I have an ass. Some people, it seems I'm getting a little pushback on the heated seats. Well, good for you. It's usually women, I'm not gonna stereotype, but uh, I'm sorry, not women, let's be politi politically correct. Vaginal Americans. Uh, my wife loves the heated seats. I'm like, can you please turn them off when you're done? She never remembers, so I'm like halfway down the block. I'm like, did I piss myself? <laughs> Every time. It's just something I notice all over and it, 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 it bugs me. So if somebody will go and visit one of these gigantic dogs, I don't know why people have them, and they're always showing me the pictures, and they'll always say the same thing. They're like, there's like, isn't he sweet? He's so sweet. I was over there. Is the sweetest dog in the world. I, I sort of assumed that a six foot, 200 pound dog that has an owner that would invite people over has a relatively friendly disposition. I'm sorry, I'm just going to assume that, you know? Like, could you imagine if somebody comes back from visiting a dog? It's like their clothes are all ripped. Like, oh, yeah. I went to go see Stephanie's great team. 
the pig's like this big. The most vicious animal I've ever seen in my life. She had a chain to a radiator. It like chewed through it and it tried to kill me. I had to dive out the window. I barely made it to my car. Thanks for coming to the show tonight. I know that you didn't come and see me especially. I'm not a famous comedian. Um, I've been doing it a while and I love it, but I'm not really famous. To give you an idea of how much fame I've achieved in this business, if I was uh, in Scientology and I decided to leave, they would say, all right. <laughs> I haven't been home for about a week and uh, I was, you know, I do get a little bit lonely and especially with my current situation, I have been watching a little porn. All of a sudden I have a candy fetish. I don't know why. But, uh, you know. I've noticed that, you know, things recur and I have to think about them and talk about them. There's this ad that comes on before so many of these uh, porn videos. And it's a sultry woman's voice and it says, want to masturbate but don't have a partner? <laughs> That's kind of why I'm masturbating. There's certain things I'll miss about my wife, certain things I won't. The thing I'll miss is she is so funny when she's not trying to be funny. I don't have to change a word of what she said because it was so beautiful. But, um, you know, our love life has taken a little bit of a hit uh, recently. But a couple weeks ago, you know, I got bold. Right? I walked right into her room. <laughs> and I said, hey, I was thinking we could have sex tonight. She said... Based on what? <laughs> Thanks for laughing. Hurt my feelings, but I'm glad you guys got a kick out. You guys have been so wonderful. Thank you especially. Thank you especially. You guys were terrific. Thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Good night.